What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If the title of this video and the thumbnail of this video didn't give it away already, I will be selling my Porsche 996. It is officially up for sale. You guys can DM me on Instagram if you guys like at Kyle Pansis, or you guys can shoot me an email below. I'll leave my email as well below. Um, we are selling the Porsche 911. It is officially for sale. This car is a beautiful spec of a 911, 996. As you guys well know, if you follow my channel, it is in really, really good shape. Uh, all original paint and uh, no accidents. There's been a couple owners, but they've all been taking care of the car, including myself. Um, it has been really well maintained over the course of its life. I have a stack of records, which I can show you in this video, uh, a stack of records listing everything that's been done and also a lot of the receipts uh, from a lot of the servicing that has been done over the years. And of course, all of the things that I've done to the car, um, which I've done myself personally, I noted on a, on a piece of paper. And of course, I also saved those receipts for records. So, I mean, one of those things being the tires, um, we up, upgraded the uh, oil pan on this car and the sump, uh, which is an upgrade that these cars uh, like because it allows for better oiling for the engine um, in this case this car is perfect It really has no issues. It has the original clutch and IMS bearing in there But uh, just so you guys know it's an early 2000s model So it's got a dual row bearing on the IMS and it's not really it's not an issue at all on these cars in fact less than 1% of the IMS bearings on the dual row bearing ever failed. So you have a 99 plus percent chance of it never failing. And in this case, we have 88,000 miles on the car and I'm not gonna knock on, I'm gonna knock on some wood, but like at this point in the game, if that IMS bearing, <laughs> gotta do it. If that IMS bearing was gonna fail, it would have already failed a long time ago. So it is really um, not something you need to be worried about. So, the car inside, as you guys well know, is very, 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 very clean. Um, we've kept it very clean. The only thing that's got a little wear and tear is just the center console. But outside of that, the door cards, the door panels, the leather, the dashboard, I mean everything, the steering wheel, everything is just mint. Very, very mint. We have an Alcantara uh, headliner. We have an Alpine radio that was upgraded. Uh, and uh, you know one of the previous owners so you have uh, Bluetooth in here so that is a nice little added touch since there's a manual six-speed on the shifter and um, yeah everything works the climate control system all of the electronics we haven't had any issues thankfully the only issue I did have I was supposed to go get some professional photography done this week and yesterday I went to go fill the tank and this tire went flat, so that's why I'm not driving the car right now and telling it. So I have a new tire on order, and the reason why that tire went flat, as you guys can see, is because as I was filling up the tire, I noticed that the valve stem was the one that was causing the leak. So, in the meantime, I'm getting a new tire put on next week, and uh, we're gonna get a valve stem replacement on there, so that's, that, that'll all be taken care of. It's not a big deal, obviously. Um, and, that's, and that's the outside. Um, you know, we got a couple rock chips on the front bumper, really not a lot relative to the age of the car. It's like super duper clean. Um, and outside of the front with a couple rock chips, there is no scratches or dents or dings on this car. It is perfect, guys. Really, really, truly is. Um, there's maybe there's a light little scratch here. That's the only one on the entire car that one which is nothing. This is a 22 year old car. It's unbelievable guys um, The paint on the rims have been done before the rears have a couple chips on the paint um, Not not a big deal either the fronts are pretty clean. We don't really have too much uh, road rash on these tires uh, I personally have never hit a curb with it and you know whatever chipping that is done I think it's just from I don't know what it's from just maybe the previous paint job wasn't hundred percent done but this this is good I mean the, just like I said the rears like this one is the only one that's got some issues on the chipping of the paint but that's because it sits in the rear so it's you know whatever rocks might hit that I don't know maybe just a bad paint job but anyways 
those are the two those are the two flaws on the outside of the car which is again not an issue it's really easy to repair there so brakes on the rear are good they've been changed the brakes on the front are also good they have not been changed but you have a solid like 15,000 miles on them the tire tread is good on the front I just replaced the tires on the rear and of course we're replacing this one again so those are pretty good um, I've changed the oil and uh, there's really not much to it the car is really perfect um, if you guys haven't been watching the channel one of the things that goes wrong on these cars is the HVAC uh, flap starts to like degrade and there's foam that shoots all around the car but if you guys haven't been following the channel I fixed that last December we went in there into the HVAC system took it all out cleaned it all out and now it is completely fixed for the lifetime of the car it's never gonna break again because I put high heat aluminum tape on there from 3M so it replaced the foam that the factory put on there so it's never gonna degrade and break apart and do what it was doing so that's fixed so now that we're in the car I'll give you guys a quick cold start up it is certainly cold outside let's see there are no lights as you guys can see um, we have a seatbelt light our parking brake light and then that that light there just turns off as soon as you start to uh, to move the car so there's nothing to worry about there 88 422 we got good uh, good read on the fuel or excuse me good read on the uh, the battery you guys can see that oil pressure is amazing and that's it Nope, uh, yesterday I started up the car for the first time in three months um, and there was no oil burning, so there's no bore scoring issue on this car. I know that these engines can have an issue with bore scoring. This engine does not have an issue with bore scoring. If it did, it would blow blue smoke every time you start it, especially after a long sit, because that oil leaks down the pistons and then there you go, you're burning some oil after a long sit. So we don't have that issue here. You guys can see under the hood here in the back. Sounds good, runs good, it's clean. The owner before me had just a year before I picked it up, so like in 2018 or 2019, had done the water pump and serviced the entire cooling system. And um, so that, that's been done in the last 20,000 miles of the car. I only put eight, seven or 8,000 miles on the car. I didn't put that many miles on it. Um, over the course of two years actually yeah this summer will be two years so it's a year and a half I put 8,000 miles on it not not too much guys not too much so uh, clean title in hand I love this car uh, the only reason why I want to sell it guys is strictly because it is such a nice car and I don't want to ruin it and I want to track a car and I don't want to track this car because like I said I want something a little bit younger that I don't mind abusing a little bit this is just a real it, this car is like really becoming a classic I know a lot of people say it's like they're built for the track and they are and it runs really well on the track but um, but it's such it's such a nice car it's beautiful and I just, I want something that has a little bit more youth to it that if I beat up a little bit, I don't feel so guilty because it's not a classic. Um, and this belongs in someone's possession that uh, wants to drive it on the weekend, enjoy it for what it's worth and what it's built for um, and not destroy it. You know, like the track doesn't destroy your car, but you know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't want to have that guilty conscience of, if something happens it's such a beautiful car so let me show you the stack of records all right guys so we're in the front here and you guys can see we have the uh, original spare tire which is got really good tread on it it's never been touched uh, nice and clean up here very useful uh, if you guys want to do like a weekend trip you can definitely put a couple bags in there so here it is this is what I was given with the car the, the original glove box material you know um, from the factory user you know, user manual which which is sweet I'm gonna actually put that right here 
in a good spot. And then this is original to the car as well. This is the certificate of authenticity, which comes from Porsche. It has the original letter from October 2002 when the car was, I, I guess, purchased. Um, and then uh, all of the Carfax. This is a Carfax from, let's see what the year is on this. This is from 2013. So this is a Carfax from two owners ago. This is this was given me from the previous owner when he was purchasing the car in 2013. So it has all the, you know, no accidents. The, and the, obviously the owner before me didn't have any accidents. Um, and he did a lot of the maintenance himself. So that's that's pretty good information to have. And then here is the list of all of the things that were done and the dates. Um, so that was mine, right? One, two, three, four, five, five, five things I've done, small stuff. And then the previous owner had this car for like five years, I want to say. So he had done an extensive amount of work himself and he had listed all of the work and the miles just really, really nicely kept data uh, on this car. Really awesome guys. And then of course, all of the receipts going back to 2013 on this car, you know, here's something from 2015 even even further back this was dated on i don't know where the date is on that but it's a long time ago um so it has a nice record to the car it was not abused at all at just straight up no abuse um and that is uh really important because obviously you guys want to know where these cars come from and uh, I know I've done some videos on the car on my channel um, and also you guys can see this is the original sticker on the hood so the hood is original just to prove my point of no accidents you guys can just see how beautiful the paint is so yeah guys a um, little bittersweet I do feel really bad selling the car because there's no reason for me to sell the car except for the fact that I want something that I don't mind abusing a little bit more and feeling less guilty of so that is the truth and it's the true honest reason why i'm selling the car there's no other reason except for i want something that i can abuse beat up and not feel guilty that's it straight up just a little bit of a conscious you know car conscious that's how much i like cars doesn't matter the car it is but in this case this car is so freaking awesome it is in such perfect shape and uh, it deserves to be taken well care of and i do if I were to keep the car, continue to keep taking good care of it. But in this case, I'd rather sell it and move on to something because I'm limited on garage space. And of course, my parents are patient enough. So if I add another car to the fleet in the garage here or the driveway, it just becomes too much, you know, too much stuff. So guys, I'm editing the video and I didn't really go over what we're asking for the car. And so before I just give a price, I'm gonna actually just show you guys some results of on Bring a Trailer. And the reason why I'm putting it Bring a Trailer up as a barometer for pricing is, is because car enthusiasts go to buy cars from other car enthusiasts. So it's like you, you kinda, you really get into what the car is. There's usually a billion pictures, uh, a huge list of descriptions and all of the things to show off and present the car. Uh, now, being that we're doing this via my YouTube video and you guys have been following me, some of you, and you get to know me a little bit more personally, I uh, am not listing my car necessarily and bring a trailer at this point in time, but I want to hold my car to the standards of what is posted on bring a trailer because the car that I have is bring a trailer quality and I know it would auction for a premium and I know that a lot of people out there that are looking to buy one of these 996s would bid my car up. And uh, I'm gonna prove it to you right here. Um, here are just some results on Bring a Trailer. I pulled up a couple tabs. Uh, for instance, this 2000 Porsche 911 Millennial. This is a, four, a Carrera 4 six speed, so very similar to mine. It is a Carrera 4, mine is just a straight Carrera. This car has 84,000 miles on it, and it sold for thir almost $35,000. Now, next up is another 2001 Carrera 4 six-speed. This one sold for 34,000, 63,000 miles. And obviously all of these cars are, you know, are clearly top quality cars. And here's another one for 33,000 just last week, uh, February 12th. And this one has 93,000 miles. So 
Uh, I'm not gonna name a price, but you guys can kind of see where these things are trading on Bring a Trailer. Uh, I know you can shop a car and you just never really know what you're getting into, especially if you're buying it from a dealership or a, you know another car service out there. But since I'm posting this video personally, um, and I gave you guys a, a rundown. I'm holding my car to a good standard because I know it is Top of the line quality. I'm not you know, you guys know it. You guys saw the video. You're watching the video currently and um, I'm a no BS kind of guy uh, I know a good car when I see it and if you've been following my videos You know that if it's not a good car, I usually make it a good car uh, from previous builds and in this case I purchased this car as a great car and I kept it a great car and I'm hoping to pass it on to somebody else that appreciates it and we'll keep it a great car. So I'm gonna get back into the video, but um, the next part that I'm gonna talk to about in the video, take notes on and in this part, just drop, drop me an email if you guys are serious. So stay tuned, let's finish up this video. I am working with a concierge service here in New Jersey that uh, if you guys want to finance the car and not pay cash because the interest rates are pretty cheap right now, obviously on money, um, you can go through his company. Uh, and I can, once you get in contact with me, if you're serious, uh, you know, all those things are options for you. Or if you want to pay cash, you can write a check as well. Either way, it's not a problem. So that's it, guys. There's a video update for you today on the channel. The 996 is for sale and um, it's for good reasons. It's gonna make room for more content and uh, more opportunity for myself. So I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't to the channel. And uh, for all my 996 followers, I apologize that I am already selling mine, but um, I got to experience the beauty and the glory of the car and uh, I don't feel guilty moving on like I feel guilty selling it but I don't feel guilty if you know what I mean I'm kind of like in the middle there so anyways let me know what you guys think drop a comment below shoot me an Instagram message at Kyle Pantsis and of course like I said my email is down in the description you guys can shoot me an email if you're serious happy to help and uh, get you into the 996 it is a wonderful 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 car as many of you guys well know and I'll link a couple videos of me reviewing it and talking about it so you can get more in-depth further review content of my thoughts on the car I mean it's just it's literally the last of it's literally the last of a true sports car from from the ninth you know from the 20th century and you know the only thing it has is ABS brakes it doesn't have any traction control I mean it's just a true 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 driver's car um, and obviously some of the Porsche purists is say, oh, it's water cooled and all that stuff, but you know, it's not a big deal. And this is the car for all intents and purposes that kept Porsche from going out of business in 2000. So this is the millennial spec and um, I, I got nothing else good to say about it. It's just phenomenal and I have nothing bad to say about it. Literally not one thing bad. Uh, some of you would say you don't like the front headlights, but I would argue that you're crazy so anyways i will stop rambling be sure to check out some of the videos uh on my reviews of this car if you're serious um if you're serious about the car check it out and if you're serious about the car and inquiring please drop a note and i'm happy to assist we'll get you guys we'll get whoever it is offers uh on the table and get you into this car it's it's beautiful and it deserves somebody that uh will appreciate it as well and uh, just one more, one more note, the clutch is original, like I mentioned, and you guys can just see, I'm gonna just slowly lift up my uh, foot on the brake, on the clutch, and it just, car nice and slowly rolls. There's no chatter in the clutch. There's no issues with the clutch. It's, it runs perfectly, so. Nothing to worry about on that. If you know how to drive, uh, if you know how to drive a car with a clutch, it, you, You'll, you'll you'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. If you right, if you like to burn the clutch, then uh, then it doesn't really matter how many miles are on it. You're gonna go through the clutch.